a literally one minute out of the video. Well, you need to do nothing, and you're crashing and bashing and making a noise. Do it again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it again, aren't I? I'm going in the house out of the way. Can you uh, get out the way, please? Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here for an update with you on the Rover 75. Dad's been really busy. There's been so much work happened in the past month. This video is an update on the repair of the rusty sill. So much so that Dad is very much nearly there. You can hear him in the background being noisy as usual, doing stuff, because for whatever reason, he can't keep still whilst I'm trying to film an introduction. Anyway, he's been really busy, um, got the new sill shaped. If you haven't seen that video on the channel, it's on there. Now we had an issue with uh, the replacement sill in that it was trash. Dad's managed to make good out of that. He's welded it onto the car with a bit of extra fettling and fabrication. It's been filled, it's been flatted back, and now we're gonna see what stage he's at today. You can come in now, I've finished doing my intro. <laughs> Noisy. Hello. Sorry. How oh. are you? All right, mate, thanks. <laughs> we're in your workshop, and you're with the Rover 75. Uh, that's a nice big custom side stripe down the side. I like that. I could draw on that, couldn't I? I could draw, I don't know, Pete's autos nice. or something. Just to make it protect it when you parked it, as it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, right, so we've we've had lots of sill updates on the Rover 75. With you, there's part one, two, and three on the channel. This is the latest update. Uh, talk us through it. Well, I've got much to say, really, so I can't remember what we did before. Uh, we've, got the, we've got the patch put in, the metal work. Then we put some primer on it, and then we flatted it off to see where the eye spots were. There weren't any silly eye spots. So we DA'd it all off. I put some filler on it, I shaped it. I found a bit of a low spot, so I had another coat of filler, shaped it, and I was really happy with it, really pleased with it. And how are you feeling now? It's come up a treat at the moment, hasn't it? So from what I can see, in fact, let's have a look at it. Let's sh show us the sill, show us it, let's have a look. Listen, all we did was put a patch in just here, mate, didn't we? So that patch that we've put in there, yeah, well, actually, I can't, I can't see it. I can't see where that patch, patch was. in there, isn't it? And it goes down to here. And there's that bit underneath, mate, wasn't there? And there's a piece I've put in the back here as well. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that's grand, that is. Look at that. So, I can't see, really, where you've... Put that in, there's no this, lumps. The reason I wanted to get a seal mill, mate, is because this back end is a bit... It's not just a shape, it's shaped. But the new seal hadn't got this shape anyway. No, really. so you've had to a, fabricate that. It was a total... Or I reckon if we was in a garage with basic bodywork tools, like a roller and a guillotine and a bender, we could have made one like that, couldn't we? Yeah. For how much? Ten quid? Yeah, less than that, <laughs> couldn't you? <laughs> But well, uh, it's cost 60. Somebody with better fabrication skills could have probably done it, by, well, they would have done it by hand. But, uh, Are you happy? Got there. You got happy there, so far? We? Well, we're not, we're not there yet. Yeah. We've still got some painting to do, haven't we? Yeah, be, but yeah. you've got some satin black on there. I Just can't like, see any anti-chip. Yeah, the, the bottom edge is all anti-chipped, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah, up, up to about here. All that bottom edge. If you run your hand on it, you'll feel it. That's how I feel. Yeah. The bottom edge is all anti-chip. Oh, yeah, I can feel that. Yeah. And obviously, That's not. this bit isn't done yet. It's not completed because it does. It does look patchy. You know, you can yeah, see some, patches it's here. It's got and a here. coat of satin where there's less paint. Yeah, we don't want to want three coats of paint up there, are we? No, no, that makes it's, sense. It's already painted. Yes, it? it will look daft. So, what's left now then? Just paint it. Just paint that off. Paint it, and then when it's dried off, we'll wax it. Yeah, with some waxy oil. Yeah, I've got that ready to do. And then put the plug back in. I've put some holes in, as you know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look underneath. It's got two drain holes. What? Oh. Punch through from the inside. Oh yeah. So this is your repair underneath here as well. That's the jacking point, isn't it? Yes, mate. And then you've put that hole in. What I've you put, put that hole in there for? Well, if it gets water, it can get out. Is that? Uh, would it have had a hole there? No, or? they don't. Okay, so you've put a few drain holes no, in I there. Put a couple of drain holes in. I can see all this here is looking a bit. This is a bit more smooth here yeah, than here. The original Schultz 
adhesive seam sealer stuff is really thick, isn't it? Yeah, we've obviously not got any of that no, on there. Any of that. We're going to wax all all that. Actually, once you get some blooming road spray and stuff on there, you're never going to see it, are you? Um, okay, good. Looking good so far. And then it's just a case of painting it. Then it's done. Then what will you do? You'll be bored. Your mum's got plenty of plans. <laughs> um, we know the other side is a bit tender. I'm not going to poke it. If anybody pokes it, you can do. <laughs> do you think it's going to need doing at some point? It is, yeah. Yeah, but we could use that metal sill that we've already got to do it. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. So keep well, you busy I over winter. The other side. No, I don't think so. It'll look like Frankenstein's monster. Are you happy with the process? Are you happy with what you've done? It's come up better than I expected, to be honest. Has it? I put yeah. the profile gauge on it, yeah. and it's not far out at all. Well, I can't see. Yeah. I can't see that you've done it. I've, done a, I've put a profile gauge on it, and it's not far out at all. My concern is when you take all this cardboard off and all this... The sill is going to stick out like a sore thumb because it'll look like a new penny. It will, won't it? Yeah. If it does, I suggest we flat it off with some scotch bright just to take the shine off it. Yeah. It'll it'll go. So it's over finished time up anyway. More, this. Yeah, I, it's I, almost matte, isn't it? Yeah. But it is. That's what it's going to. That's what it's going to look like. Are we going to paint the other side? Uh, no. 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 Oh, I was going to suggest we paint the other side to the same so it matches. It'll need flatting, and I should. I think you'll leave well alone. <laughs> leave the other side alone. You, you see, can't think, see both sides at the same time. No, that's true. That is true. I think if we start flattening as well, we might find some holes, might we? Yep. Good. You've done a good job there. Uh, thank you very much. Um, as long as you're happy with how it looks, not, and I suppose as long as I'm happy as well, because well, yeah, I'm you're, the customer. You're fussy the customer. Yeah, I am fussy. I am very fussy when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, but you're happy with it? Yeah. Like cool. I say, I was... I was made up the second the second coat of filler. I was happy with it. Yeah. And roughly, how long has it taken you? Oh, mate, just not not long really, has it? Got to keep coming out and doing a bit when I feel like it. Couple of days. Like the welding, I just kept doing a bit, and then I went away so it can cool down. Because some people blow it with an airline, but you think about it, how do you shrink metal? You cool it quick, don't you? Mm. So I just kept doing a little bit and then going off and doing something else. Really cool, doing a bit entertaining more. Entertaining your mum. And um, what stopped it from warping? Because a lot of people have said, oh, it's not, not rush. rush. Yeah, just by taking your time. Yeah, not rush. Do it steady. Be patient. Do a little bit and go away. So a lot of people are going to be thinking now that, that you're going to do this one. <laughs> You'll have people queued round the block to do no, silver repairs. No, I'm not good enough to do it for the paying public. I don't know. I've seen worse out of body shops. A body shop that I won't yeah, name publicly. You, ne you never saw it, but there was one that went to the Festival of the Unexceptional and it had got the black scorch marks up the door where they'd just blasted a sill patch on quick. <laughs> what car was that? I don't know what it was, but it drove past us when we was watching. It'll be on the uh, it's, it's Festival of the Unexceptional It's a bit of a mad video. rush to get it done anyway. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, do you think? But... Uh, well, like I say, there's some body shops that I've had experience with in the past, locally, that I will uh, not name publicly, who are uh, meant to be the best in the business, and I think you've done a better job than them. Oh, well, it's, it's not as though it's not like a bonnet, is it, or something? It's only a blinking Well, it's a black seal, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, it's a bit different to doing a wing or a bonnet, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, not to, I'm not good enough for that. I'm a spanner swinger, mate. I'm not a, uh, a top tip, though. What you got there? Bit of coving. It's just the ideal shape for shaping sills. Is it? Good <laughs> job it's not polystyrene. No. It wouldn't matter, would it? Well. But a bit of coving, just the right shape it is. There you go. So what's next for the Rover 75? We're going to do that under tray things, aren't we? Oh yeah, yeah, we're going to put the under tray back on. We've got some parts for that. Yep. I can see you've got your waxy oil here. Has that stuff changed its name? Uh, it's different. It looks the same, but it's different in Alfords. What, wax oil? I don't know. It's I've got no idea. It's got a different name on the tin. <clears throat> I uh, was going to use Lanagard, but I think that's the wrong sort of thing for this job. I don't know what is it. This is what we're going to be What's using. That? What's that stuff? Oh. Ixol SPRCC. Where do you get that from? It's what comes from the Renaults. 
Oh, what's that? So Renault would provide you with that. It's what you got from the store when you wanted some. Yeah. And it's, it goes in the sills. Fair enough. I've never seen a rusty Renault. <laughs> Let's see. Renault. Does that, though, when you put that in, give you your standard Renault electrical faults? No. <laughs> That's all to do with the wires. So, sills on, sills done. It's ready for the rust of all. Winner, winner. Under tray to go on. Then what have we got to do with the car? I'm, I'm genuinely struggling to think what we've got left to do. You've got a list there. There's a dribbling cam seal. We're not going to worry about that yet. Yeah. The offside front tyre goes down. Yeah. The we air has got a leak, but we'll probably not rush and do out about that. Yeah. And that's about it, really. Clean it up. Clean it up. Yeah. Get it on Car and Classic. 1,500 quid. Jobs are good in. <laughs> we've got to go to the Rustival, is it? Yeah, we're going to Rustival, we'll which I'm back. looking forward to. As long as we don't come back on a transporter, I can't be doing with that. Yeah, that would be bad news, wouldn't it? Yeah. Are you going to take some oat coolant with you to Rustival? I'm going to fill the boot with tools. <laughs> Uh, enjoy the bodywork process or not? No. Um, a spanner swinger? I can, I'm a spanner swinger. I'm not what I'd call a good body man. I'm not a good body man, son. I think you've done a good enough job there anyway. It is for a sill, isn't it? I reckon this battery's not over good. Well, let's not worry about that right now. Yeah. Right, that's it then. Uh, thanks for watching. That's your sill update. Um, there will be a final, this is the sill, doesn't the sill look wonderful video. Um, but we're nearly there, very nearly there. Uh, thanks to Dad, thanks for watching, thanks to everyone that's liked, subscribed, uh, commented. What do you reckon? Uh, let's have some comments, please, down below for Dad's job on the sill. I'll show you up close before we finish again. Here is the sill, here is the job. A little bit of paint left to go on there, and then we can remove all the masking and stuff like that and have a good look at it. Last word from you. Keep looking after them classic cars. Oh, keep looking after them classic cars. That's, that's a good line to finish on. Take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.